Hey, Mom, what's up? Sorry, I'm just in the middle of some stuff right now. But what's going on? Well, your father and I just wanted to check in, but we can call you back later. No, no, it's fine. What's going on? Well, not much here. Well, we just wanted to see if things were picking back up out there. Not really. Still totally dead. It seems like nobody's getting auditions right now. But hopefully soon. I, I think with how everything's going, I, um, jeez, I might have to start looking for a regular job. I hear you, Mom. You know, we were just thinking maybe you should come back here this summer and get a job. And you could meet a nice Midwestern girl here. Maybe even reconnect with your old friend. Mom, there are nice girls everywhere. Dating just hasn't been my top priority. And, Dad, no 24-year-old wants to come back and live in their parents' basement. Probably because he's been freeloading for decades. Philip, what was that? Nothing, Mom. Well, you know how lively Bridge City is this time of year? It would be good for you to get out of LA for a little while. Uncle Jack would love it too. He's been telling all his pickleball friends how great of a player his nephew is. Ella, are you still there? Mom, Uncle Jack has never even seen me play pickleball. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it, alright? We, we can talk about all this later, okay? Well, one more thing, Sally. I sent you a couple of pictures of Dad and me. I just thought you might want a new one of them. Okay, yeah, that'd be great. Let me check them out right now, and then I can, uh, we can talk about it later, alright? Okay. Alright, honey. Alright, well, hey, I love you guys. Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Alright, right, yep. Too. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Alright, bye. -bye. bye. Couple photos. Oh, my goodness. What? Summer in Bridge City? Living in my parents' basement? <laughs> this is a joke.
That was Quixotic Sound's last one standing. I'm J.D. Bennett on the aisle 96.9, northern Michigan's best variety, serving Harbor Creek, Bridge City, and Little Bay Cove. Here's the deal on my Uncle Jack. He's my mom's twin. They're Jack and Jill. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. There are three things that Uncle Jack does that drive me absolutely crazy. One, he and my mom insist on wearing matching outfits. Two, he's always late. I mean, running late could be five minutes, could be an hour. He just texted me he's running a little bit late. And three, which drives me absolutely crazy because it's so not me, he's a huge bragger. And most of it's totally exaggerated. And my mom, you know, she just rolls with it all. But you know what they say. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> It's a joke. Phil! <laughs> How's it going, Uncle Jack? I'm doing great. Oh, good to see you. It's always good to see you. I'm sorry I'm so late. I couldn't get away from the courts. I was on fire. Hey, no worries, Uncle Jack. It's totally fine. Hey, let's put your stuff in the back seat. All and right. what do you think of my convertible? Well, I know you're really strategic with your spending, so I was kind of surprised that you'd spend it on a convertible, but I think it looks great. And you know, I, I love the red. The red's my favorite color, so it's great. Here, I'll this stuff up. Is right here in the back okay? Perfect. Okay, awesome. All right, here, I'll put this in here. Whoa, nice paddle, Uncle Jack. They say the X90's top of the line. It's the best. Oh, I can't wait to see you play with it. Whoa. All right, let's load up, let's get out of here. Really appreciate you getting me, Uncle Jack. This is great, thank you. Good to have you. You know, man. yeah. I was trying to remember the last time I saw you in person, Uncle Jack. I remember it was two years ago in June. There's no way it could have been that long. It was at Jasper's house where they honored me with a community service award. I was given a huge standing ovation. You remember my friend Jasper. <laughs> Uncle Jack is at it again. He can't help himself. I never heard about an award for community service. I never heard about a standing ovation. And who the heck is Jasper? So Phil, be honest, your parents won't come out and say it, but it seems like it's over for you in L.A., right? I mean, this is the end of the road. Oh, my! Oh, well, man. it still looks drivable to me. Yeah, oh, poor little guy. He just ran off without his tail. Oh, Jackie, this isn't your fault. Bill will take it up and get it repaired later on. Right now, the most important thing is that you and Philly are safe. Phil distracted me, Jelly Bean. What do you mean he distracted you? I oh, asked dear. him a simple question and he couldn't give me an honest answer. That's not what happened. Well, I'm sure your insurance will cover all the damages. But I still have a $500 deductible to pay. We'll take care of that. Right now, let's go in for some dinner, okay? Come on. And some cookies and milk? Cookies and milk. I have not. Oh, my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, my. Yeah, Dad, it's okay. You know, just uh, good to be home. Good to be home. His eyes were not on the road. How is that my fault? Why doesn't he just tell the truth, tell it like it is? I don't know why Phil won't speak the truth. Doesn't he know the truth will always set you free? What the hell? My brother-in-law wrecked his car and thinks I'm going to pay for it? No one even knows he inherited it from Mrs. Mapplethorpe. He mowed her lawn in the 60s and gave her two pickleball lessons right before she died. Poor dad, you know, he's actually gotten kind of used to being the third wheel. Jack and Jill, and then there's Bill. Oh, Philly, we are so glad you were home. Thanks, Mama. It really is. Yeah, it's great to have you back. By the way, Philip, Chloe's Coffee Shop is really doing well. Your cousin is certainly making a name for itself. Well, that's great, you know. I there can't you go. You see, Phil, Chloe didn't have to abandon her family and move 2,000 miles away to chase her dream. She's found it right here in good old Bridge City, Michigan. Bill, you must be so proud of your niece. Yes, I am. This is so jacked that my compliment towards Chloe turns into a dagger at Pwabs. I kid you not, he does this every time. I've been on the ground for about three hours and Uncle Jack has not missed an opportunity to cut me down. I don't understand. Mom says he brags about me all the time when I'm not here. But when I am here, it's all insults. I mean, 
I don't get it. This guy is 65 years old, still lives in his sister's basement, and he's passing judgment on my decisions at age 24? It's a joke. Well, anyway, Philly, I'm assuming you're going to the pickleball courts in the morning with your Uncle Jack? That's the plan. That's I'm not sure that's gonna work. You see, Phil, Chloe is a real go-getter. She has no problem waking up early and getting to the courts with coffee in hand. I figured it might be too early for someone like you, but don't worry, Phil, there's always the late session. It's been a long day. I think I'm gonna just unwind, unpack in my room and hit the hay. I, I forgot how long it stays light here in the summertime in Northern Michigan. Okay, honey. Yeah, um, night everyone. Uncle Jack, thanks for picking me up. I'm sorry about your convertible and that it got dinged up, but I'll see you in the morning for pickleball, right? And I'll see you in the convertible. Okay. Night, Good. everybody. Good night. Thanks for taking me to the Elton John concert last night. He's still got it. That was fun, but it still doesn't beat the Purple Rain concert we went to in the 80s. Right. Yeah. All right, back to business. At ease, Pisces. Great job on the project for the Senior Center. Kate, your recommendations for the refrigeration system was a game changer. Thanks so much, Rach. That means the world to me. What about me? I bought you a coffee. You do know that's a thank you. All right, let's keep the energy going tomorrow. I'll see y'all in the morning. Pisces? Yes, what can I do? Anything? It's gonna be a long day. I'll take my coffee black. None of that flavor crap you've been bringing me. I signed up to be an intern at City Hall, but I had no clue that being an expert barista was a job requirement. Rach, don't forget, I have a breakfast meeting in the morning. The only thing I ask is that you make sure it's a five-year warranty with an extension plan. Got it. The warranty situation has been handled, which frees me up for pickleball in the morning. Rachel has no clue that my breakfast meetings really mean pickleball. Shit's been weird since Prince died. I'm the mayor of Bridge City. My oldest friend, Kate Matthews, is my project manager. Her breakfast meetings are code for pickleball. I'm not gonna call her out. She's my ride or die. Pisces, however, is my intern. You don't always expect an intern to set the world on fire, but I take my coffee black and he can't even get that right. Clearly, Pisces is from another galaxy. Is that an X-22 you've got there? No, just your standard pickleball paddle. It seems like the car drove fine. Hello, everyone! Hey, Phil's on West Coast time. He's not awake yet. I've got first game. Oh. Philip Wobson? What brings you back to Bridge City? Oh, I should have known you'd be running the courts, Coach B. It's good to see you, Coach. You know, I had a blast when you were my coach in senior year. Well, still enjoy coaching seniors, but now I'm coaching senior citizens. Take a look. <laughs> Hey, good seeing you again, P-Womp. Hey, you too, Coach. See you soon. p -Womp. Hey, Chloe! <laughs> Chloe, oh my gosh, so good to see you. It's good you to see you too. Hey, I'm so excited about your coffee shop. Hey, come, I'll, I'll come by later and we can catch up yeah, more, okay? Yeah, that would be wonderful. And if you need a summer job, you know where to Oh, well, it. you can bet I will. <laughs> I need anything I can get. <laughs> Got a hold of that one. I don't know, Jack. It seems pretty calm on this side of the net. I don't. This must be your lucky day. Yeah, I know. Hey, Pwoms, you were a great athlete back in high school. You still got it? <laughs> Come on. We'll, let's we'll go. see, Coach. Go get him. Thank you. All right. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so, oh, so sorry. Oh my lord. 
Miss Smith! Oh. oh my gosh, this is crazy. Are, are you still at the library? It's Mrs. Jones now. And yes, I'm still at the library. Oh my goodness. Did, did you say you're married? Wow, congratulations! Thank you! All right, well, are you ready to have some fun? Okay, Philip, here we go. All right, let's do it. Come on, p -wops. Philip hasn't been around for a while. I do recall when he was a boy, he was always smiling and very quiet in the library and liked reading Diary of the Wimpy Kid books. p -wops is my cousin, and it has been so good to see him. With all the time that he spent in L.A., we're not as close as we were when we were little, so it will be so fun to get back and whip him in pickleball. Do you know anything about this guy? Yeah, he's young. Well, if he's young, that's all we need to know. That's right. Oh. Two, four, I'm a two. Oh. 10 8. I'm a 2. Got it. Oh, good match. Good game, everybody. Good game, everybody. Good game, everybody. Yep, good one. By the way, your Uncle Jack informed me you just shot a movie with Kevin Klein and Morgan Freeman called Las Vegas. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you know, we actually shot it 10 years ago and it was called Las Vegas. Um, but it was a blast to be a part of. I just had a small role. I mean, you know my Uncle Jack. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad Philip is back in town, but new players take court time, and young players are usually pretty good. I wish he played tennis instead. Chet. Chet. Yes. I'm a little concerned with the amount of swearing that's been going on here lately. Why? What did you hear now? Well, did you hear Kate dropped a D-bomb? D-bomb? You know, rhymes with ham. Damn! Well, why didn't you just say so in the first place? I think this will help with our problem. Swear jar. I love the idea. That's going to help clean things up around here. <laughs> Kate! <laughs> Put it in. Okay. Thank you. No more swearing. No. You're still so darn quick. <laughs> I can tell you've been playing some serious pickleball out there in L.A. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Hey, Philip. When I started playing pickleball here in Bridge City, I pictured a place where people could come, young and old, beginner to advance, a place where they could just have fun playing pickleball. And as I grow older, it warms my heart to see them grow more and more. So, Philip, I want this place to be our city, our own city within a city. Coach, I can see it too. I mean, it's what you've created here. It's a pickleball city. It's Pick City. Pick City. Pick City. I love it. Philip Wompson? Welcome home to Pick City. My Julie's making pancakes, fried eggs and toast. She's pouring my OJ, the perfect host. Sing a Billy. Wait, where's my uh, orange juice? Oh, my dad still thinks he's Elvis. As you can tell, the king is alive and well and eating pancakes in Bridge City, Michigan. Jack's a go-getter, he's late again. Billy! What? Oh, that's right, you said you tapped me when I was being mean to Jackie Bean. Bill! <laughs> Jackie Bean, oh, I love my dad. Sorry, Jilly Bean, no time for Eggs Benedict today. Gotta get to the courts! Oh, well, at least take your carrots. <laughs> go get <laughs> All righty. Love you, Mom. I'll see you later for the course. Bye, Phil. All right. I've never been this late before. Well, there's a first time for everything, Uncle Jack. Ooh. Right on time again, Jack. Hey, guys. 
We got five stacks of paddles over here. New games to nine, not win by two. Oh, what? No, we got five this stacks This is ridiculous. Here. Phil, I can't believe I had to wait on you. Uncle Jack waiting for me? <laughs> this is a joke. Jack, put your paddle down right here. This is ridiculous. Time is money. I'm out of here. Whoa. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Jeez. Oh, oh man. Oh, hey. Hey. You're Phil, right? Yeah, how you're you the, doing? You're, you're the new guy. Good. I'm Ken. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Ken. Have you been playing long? You know, I've been playing for about six years. I love it. Really? Oh, yeah. Really? That sounds terrific. Yep. You know, I don't mind a, a little bit of a wait, but this is getting kind of ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, is it always like this? Always. Happens all the time. I'm Lisa. Hey, I'm... Philip, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Whoa, you okay, Ken? Oh, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Oh, don't worry about Ken. He's just suffering from a chronic state of uh, hypersensitivity induced by exposure to a particular wow. antigen. I, I had that too. Tough thing to beat. Okay. You sure you're okay? Also okay. known as all allergies. All right. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> so I hear you're from LA. How do you like it out there? I love it, but you know, I mean, things have actually started to slow down for me over the past couple of years. Yeah. My son Stuart was offered a job out there, but he turned it down. He decided he would never live out there. He's about your age. Okay. Yeah, he's a marketing executive in Chicago now. He really likes it there, and he's doing so well. Oh, wow, you know, that's impressive. That's good for him. Good. Lisa is the biggest know-it-all I've ever met. That is typical Lisa. She is the biggest bragger I have ever met. This kid's just here to play pickleball. Five, six, one. Oh! 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 What happened? Uh, my arm. Let me help you over to the bench. Uh, don't worry about me. I'll be back. Typical Frank. In pain, still tossing out movie quotes. I think he's gonna be okay. We need another player over here. Okay, Terminator, show me your arm. Are you okay, Frank? It just really burns. Oh, is it a burn? Is it a deep burn? Anchorman, we speak the same language. You're the LA kid. You know it. Oh! Ooh. What we have here looks like a classic case of lateral epicondylitis. That's pickleball elbow, formerly known as tennis elbow, just rice it. Okay, Lisa, RICE, which stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation, can't be the cure for everything. But in this particular case, I concur. Hey, next four up. Lisa, you're in. Court on the far side. Oh, no. Oh, Chuck, are you okay? I don't know. I don't Here, know. let's help get him over okay. to the bench. Oh, I'm going to need my doctor's bag. Hey, Nate, do you think you warmed up enough, Chuck? No, I didn't have time. I... Chuck, you got a stretch. I know, I know. All right, show me where it hurts. It's my foot. Oh, I knew that. This looks like a classic case of plantar fasciitis. That's pickleball heel, formerly jogger's heel. Just rice it. I'm coming. Uh. Let me grab my paddle. Oh. 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 oh, good thing my bag is here. Let me grab some wrap. What in the world do you think I tripped over, Doc? Oh, oh, it looks like a classic case of sprained ankylitis. Well, what should I do? Rise, rise, rise Lisa. Lisa. That's it. We're done for the day. I know everybody is fed up with how crowded the courts have been. And now with a rash of injuries, courts are closed. What? Hey, my decision is final. The courts are closed. Well, good. If I can't play, nobody can. Oh, hey cool. everyone, Connie from the Senior Center is called. Today is chicken salad day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Esther has made her famous cherry pie. Oh, yeah. oh, right. Yeah. For still just three bucks? Absolutely. Three dollars, that's a bargain. Well, for us maybe, but P. Wants, I'm sorry. You're going to need a fake ID to earn the 60 and over rate. Yeah, we yeah. are. Got it. Here's the deal. I've never been to the Senior Center. I've never been a fan of chicken salad. And who the heck is Esther?
Philip, have you met Connie yet? She plays pickleball with us and she runs this place. No, I don't think I have. She is so sweet. Chuck, what happened to you? Oh, my planners is acting up again today. Okay, that again? Do you remember Philip Wompson? Well, sure, you're Bill and Jill's son. Yeah, that's me. It was a mess today at the pickleball courts. You should stop by the table and talk to us. We'll tell you all about it. I will. Saved you a bag of your favorite chips. Thank you, Connie. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Chuck and Connie. Definitely some energy there. I'm going to be keeping my eye on these two. Here, I'll get your chair for you. Hey, thank you. Yep. Pre appreciate it. All set? Yes. Okay. I've been saying for the longest time we need more courts. Yeah. 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 Melissa said she even may stop coming because it's so crowded. Oh. Frank, you're hurt too. Connie, you should have seen the courts today. It was like a geriatric unit out there. <laughs> wow, that sounds horrible. It sure was. We looked like a bunch of geriatric Zoom tweets. <laughs> hey, breakfast club, kind of. The tennis courts are always empty and the pickleball courts are always full. And every time we ask for more pickleball courts, the message is always the same. Frankly, pickleballers, we don't give a damn. Bam! Gone with the wind. I've been playing pickleball for four years and I'm all in on the need for new courts. However, we need to keep in mind that these tennis courts are what we're using for pickleball and they were built because tennis players have loved the sport for many years. Hopefully we can find a solution that benefits everyone. Where in the world are our tax dollars going? And Esther's pie was magnificent. Coach, you know, I was thinking, what if there's a way to bring more attention to the courts? We have a tournament. A tournament? I'm in. Well, I mean, when we did this in L.A., we got a lot of community support. Wow. I like that idea. That's a heck of an idea, Philip. Let's do it. I got a couple of things that I want to get caught up on with you guys before we start play today. But the first is very exciting. We are going to have the first ever inaugural Bridge City Pickleball Tournament. Yes! Hey, Chet, do we even have enough courts? Well, Jack has a lifelong friendship with the mayor, and he's promised us to secure eight courts for the tournament. Awesome. Go, Jack. Yes. All right, Jack. Make it awesome. happen. Hey, and one more thing. I know Tuesday was really hard on a lot of us, but we're not all in the prime of our youth and bulletproof like P. Womps and Chloe. It's unfortunate, yeah. but most of us are at high risk for injury. In all seriousness though, I just got done talking to Randy and I've decided that we're going to start having a stretching routine before we start play. Oh. Oh. <laughs> We're doing this for your own good. Injury prevention is key. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's line up and count off for stretch time. I thought he was just kidding. Yeah. I haven't stretched since I was 17 years old. Chuck, get out of here. Hey, I took his class in school. He takes his stuff seriously. Come I on. do Pilates. This will be easy. Come on, come on, come on. Pilates, it's Pilates. Work, work, work. We putting in the heart. Catch their breath, count seconds, watching while we cash their checks, set records, will I stop, before the whole world knows my name, not by a long shot, work, 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 we putting in the heart, work, work, come on, come on, work, 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 we putting in the heart, work, yeah, yeah, work, 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 we putting in the heart, work, work, come on, come on, work, 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 we putting Man, in the heart, work, 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 but sometimes it's like he forgets that this isn't gym class anymore. I don't know, but I think he's an absolute dreamboat. Well, I think you should tell him. Oh, no. Oh, no, Jill, an ambulance just turned into Bridge City Park. It's headed for the pickleball court. Oh, my gosh. I hope it's not Jack. I have told him not to overdo it. Oh, Billy. Oh, my head really hurts. I didn't oh, think it hurt this much. Honey. I think you're going to be out for several months. Oh. <sighs> okay, stop. I just need a second. All right. 
Jack, Jill, up the hill. Right, left, right, okay. Uh, Mom, you're just gonna get me in here. Yeah, let's go this way, go a little on the side. Come on in. Sorry, it's Put okay. Put you in a Whoa, chair, Mom. oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm, just, I'm oh. still a little bit dizzy. Oh, honey, we'll get you down. Oh, my head's right? pulsing. Here's a chair, here oh, we go. Okay. What the heck happened? Oh. He's fine. All right, you ready, Amy? I'm ready. Eight, five, two. That's you. Oh, oh, oh nice, nice, nice shot, Jack. Nice shot, Jack. Sugar. Jack attack. Jack and me. Jack attack. Jack attack. All right. Who's that? I finally hit a winner down the line past Phil, and he hits himself in the head to get some attention and steal my thunder. Chet called Phil bulletproof. Turns out he's not even paddleproof. Jackie, I know you had a stressful day. Why don't I get you some milk and cookies? It'll make it feel all better. Honey. Thanks, Jilly Bean. Damn freeloader. Here, Philly. Oh, thanks, Mom. Did I get this right? My son gets nine stitches in his head, and Jack plays a pity card? I kid you not. Jill gave Jackie eight cookies and Philip just one. What the hell? Summer in Bridge City. Stitches in my head. So far. This is an absolute joke. Hey, yeah. Good game, Ken. Nice, nice game. Good, good game, Molly. Good, 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 good game, good. Barb. Good well done. Thanks, Philip. Yeah. That was a great game. Yes, it was. Hey, could I have a minute of your time? Yeah, what's going on? <clears throat> Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> uh, no, it's been a while. <laughs> oh, I've been thinking my granddaughter Ellie would be just perfect for you. Well, does she live around here? No, she lives in Detroit, but she comes up every once in a while, and she's a kindergarten teacher. Oh, hey, that's great. You know, I had all A's in kindergarten. Oh, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Did I hear somebody mention something about a girlfriend? Y yeah. I was going to tell you about my niece, Ashley. She's quiet, oh so sweet, and studying to be a nurse. Oh, wow, a nurse. Well, hey, that's great when you just had stitches in your head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've got a neighbor. Penelope. Mm -hmm. She's sharp as a tack and about your age, and she's got a math PhD. Well, big whoop. Now, Ray, oh. math is a problem. Right. I don't know if Phillips told you this already, but he was scarred by his fifth grade teacher, Miss Berger. She really Hey, hey that's, that's great, Chloe. Thanks. Very traumatizing. Yeah. Oh, my word. Okay, I gotta set the record straight on something. He knows I can't stand being called Phil. Philip, P. Woms, I'm fine with. My mom calls me Philly. Phil's just never grown on me. Uh, everything okay? Actually, no, I'm getting nervous. I don't have a clue what to tell Rachel. Everyone's counting on me. The pressure is mounting. Okay, well calm down. Just start with some small talk and just give the mayor a quick compliment. Well, I can do that. Yeah, okay, just tell her that we know she's busy and that we won't be long. And then just tell her that we really need the courts. I mean, with how well you know Rachel, this should be a piece of cake. Yes, Phil. It would be like taking candy from a baby. Exactly. I've had time to calm down, but I've known Rachel since she was a kid. She's never turned me down on anything. She's actually intimidated by my brilliance. Whatever it takes, I'm not leaving her office without a yes. They can count on me. Hey, Rach, some of the pickleball players are here. Yeah, it only take a second. Rachel, so good to see you. You look gorgeous. Well, time is money, so I'll make this quick. 
we've decided to have a pickleball tournament right here in Bridge City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But to make it work, we need more courts. Yeah, more courts, mm -hmm. please. Now, Charlie from the Parks Department shot us down. A waste of time. But Rachel, can we count on you? No. What? I told them you were impossible. I'm out of here. Mayor, I'm the one that brought pickleball to Bridge City. So you brought this cult to Bridge City. It's your fault. You got four courts. Make them work. Um, four courts. That's not going to work. Unbelievable. Straight from the internet. Definition of a cult, a misplaced or excessive admiration for a particular person or thing. In my opinion, pickleball is a cult. I don't know why Jack thought he could get a favor from me. I always get the best of him. No favors. A cult, huh? My best friend just said I belong to a cult. Ouch. Jack just got absolutely pickled. Jack just got absolutely pickled. Wow. Getting beat 11-0 in pickleball is called getting pickled. It can be very humiliating. Uncle Jack just got absolutely pickled. So, we just got back from the mayor's office. Jack's our hero. All right. Jack. Tell them what happened. Still in the car cooling off. It, disaster. Oh, no. Rachel's always been so jealous of me. Uh, P-Wumps, tell them what happened. Well, I mean, the meeting was over before you even began, so. Oh, no. Yeah. What did Jack do? What did he do? I mean, it was the craziest approach of all time. He barged into her office, unannounced, the mayor, and then he pawed all over. He was like, Rachel, oh my goodness, you look beautiful. You should be in movies. Time is money, so we'll make this quick. We're having our first Bridge City Tournament, and we need more courts to make it happen. <laughs> Charlie from the Parks Department shot us down. A waste of time. Rachel, can we count on you? Did he really think that was going to work? Say it isn't. Uh, yep. Can't believe it, Jack. Unfortunately, yes. He thought that was going to work. Uh, what were you thinking? Well, hey, okay, let's just all stay positive. There's got to be another way we can figure this out. We can, we can figure this out, okay? Well, listen, I got the answer. All right. Oh, good. Yeah. City Ordinance 12-2 states that the mayor must give an audience to any group of six or more citizens sharing a concern. We just need to get a formal appointment with the mayor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, then that's what we'll do. I, I just can't figure out why the mayor despises pickleball so much. I think someone must have done something to Rachel that really ticked her off. Yeah, yeah. I think I know why. At the league swim meet when we were seniors, I beat Rachel by two tenths of a second in the 100 meter individual medley, and she's held a grudge ever since. I think I know why. Rachel never got over it when I was voted Bulldog cheerleading captain our senior year. She didn't come to school for a week. But maybe that helped motivate her in life. She is mayor now. Go Bulldogs! I know why. She's still mad at me for asking Kate Matthews to the freshman homecoming and not her. I definitely know why. I was the cable TV commissioner in 1981 when we brought cable to Bridge City. Rachel's neighborhood was the last one to get hooked up. All of Rachel's friends had 40 channels. Rachel only had three. No HBO, no MTV, no Prince videos. To this day, she says, I ruined her freshman year. Kate, Kate. I just got a call once blindsided by Mayor Pete Stevens. Mm -hmm. Harbor Creek is offering us courts for the tournament. What in the name of a raspberry beret is going on here? Reach. 
What do you expect? You called us a cult. Excuse me, close the door. Rach, you know I play pickleball. The city only has four courts. We need at least eight for the tournament. Open your eyes. I don't care. Who called Pete Stevens? I did. Mayor's uh, Gemini's my old brother. I'm Pisces. Where's Kate? Oh, Kate, she left. She seemed pretty upset. What do you mean she left? Well, she stormed out about a minute ago. Pisces, do me a favor. Tomorrow morning, grab a large mocha with almond milk for Kate. Sure. Pisces, one yeah. last thing. Get something for yourself. I never thought about having to live without you. I'm trying, Mr. Wright. The truth is that I, I never thought I'd have to. I am so excited about this tournament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just hoping we have a good turnout for the meeting with the mayor. Yeah. I sure wish Granddad were out here. He'd be out here every day with us at 7 a.m. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yep. he would be telling us that we were stealing time, as oh, he liked to call it. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. He'd be out here in his ERC t-shirt reminding us that the Early Risers Club is where it's at. It's because of him that I am an early riser. Well, it's because of him that you're a real go-getter. You know, arriving early to the courts with coffee in hand. I mean, just, you know, that's what Uncle Jack keeps well, telling me. Well, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You know, I, I really miss Granddad. He was the best. He loved everything about this place, and I know he'd be really glad that I was home this summer. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right, well, there you go. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I say we try to get like a rally of like 20 or something to start. All right, let's do you it. for the challenge? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's roll. You know what? What's up? I got a really freaking big blister. I think I gotta check with Randy tomorrow. I think just I don't want to play anymore because then we have the tournament, so I don't want to push it. Uh, you do know that Randy's not a doctor. It's just like a game we all play here. No, no, come on, Ra Serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in on it now. Okay. There you go. Hey, by the way, I might have a match for you. Oh boy, here we go again. No, seriously, I just hired the sweetest girl at the coffee shop. Okay, and why do you think she's my perfect match? Well, she's always had a crush on you. Okay. Do you want to know why? Yeah. She remembers you from those commercials oh. where you were the chocolate milk kid. She likes me because of that? Well, yeah. Okay, well, I guess if her drink of choice is still chocolate milk, then maybe I should give her a try. Well, I mean, actually, it's probably coffee now. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, okay, can you at least, like, tell me your name? Mallory. No way, Mallory. I love that name. Hey, you remember the show Family Ties? I thought Mallory was so cute. I, and you know what? I have the perfect pickup line. Oh, boy. You want to hear it? Yeah. Hey, yo, Mallory. Pretty good, right? Uh, you're going to have to try that one out and tell me how it goes. Oh, no. You don't think that'll work? 
<laughs> we'll see. Ah. Uh. Chad, why are you in your sweatsuit? Well, Lisa told me just to wear whatever we normally wear to work. And I've been a gym teacher and a coach for 30 years. Uh, but a whistle and a clipboard, is that really necessary to meet with a bear? You just had to bring them? Yes. I think he looks really cute in his whistle. No. <laughs> Wait, no way. Pisces works here? Yeah, I heard he was doing his internship here. I didn't know that. I didn't know it either. Everyone, Mayor Rachel Wright. Pisces, I got it from here. I might need some coffee. So we're here to discuss the courts for the pickleball tournament. I hear there are some grievances. You have the floor. Mayor Wright, thank you for taking time on your calendar to hear us out. As you know, we're having a tournament. And to do it right, we, yep. we need more court availability. They do say pickball players burn eight calories per minute. Pisces, coffee, please. I've been involved with pickleball tournaments in California, and I know one thing's for sure: for a tournament of this size to run smoothly, we need eight courts. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah we do. Yeah. yeah, we do. And now I know it may take some time, but we have some people here who have written statements they'd like to share with you. Pickleball is life. Nice, nice, yeah. Melissa. Yeah. Nice. Pickleball is fun, social, and friendly. Yeah. 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 Right. Excuse me, just a little nervous. Haven't done public speaking since debate club in high school. I love my pickleball family. I love the outdoors. Mayor. I'm a longtime tennis player as well as a pickleball player, but most of the time the tennis courts are not being used. Mm -hmm. I think it's yeah. long past time to repurpose them. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. agree. Yeah. Yep. I've been a quiet citizen here in Bridge City paying taxes for decades. I've never asked for one thing from this city. Please reconsider your decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. Please. Please. Yes. Mayor, I prepared a folder for you with all the latest pickleball statistics. Notice it's purple. They say that's your favorite color. Uh -huh. I call your attention to one item in particular on page three. They say pickleball participation across the USA has grown 160 percent mm -hmm. every year yeah. in the last three years. Mm -hmm. In the best interest of our city, we must move forward in order not to be left in the dust. Yeah. 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 I agree with yeah. everything Lisa just said, but who is they? Yeah. The expert. Yeah. yeah. As you may know, I run the Senior Center, and I'm around these people all the time. I consider them my family. We need this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we do. Mm -hmm. Mayor, I become a really good pickleball player, and I aspire to keep getting better. And for that reason, we need more pickleball courts. Yeah. 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 I agree. It's time we graduate to the 21st century. I'll be there with my coffee cart. Oh, right. Right. Yep. You're such a go-getter. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, Miss Mayor. Please remember how good this fresh air is for our respiratory system. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mayor Wright, what you've heard from everyone here summarizes our feelings. The pickleball community has nothing more to add. Mm -hmm. I have something to add. Oh, oh no. Our mayor is the brightest, most dynamic leader that we have ever had. And I think we can all agree that her outfit is head to toe on point. That outfit? From Adler's. I picked the design myself just oh. for the mayor. Oh, oh. very oh, cute. Yeah. Really cute, mayor. So cute. <laughs> yeah. So before I give you my final decision, which is not impacted by Jack's off-topic compliments. I want to just commend you for all your passion, your decorum. Yes, you have the floor. Yeah. 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 Okay, we saw we kicked their ass. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Who are you going to call? Thank you, Mayor. Yes. Ghostbusters. Oh. Yeah. Mayor? Mayor?
Let's get real. I sealed the deal. We all sealed the deal. Today was a big win for everyone. Bridge City Tournament, here we come. Oh, Jackie, I am so proud of you. Congratulations, Philip. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate oh, it. Philip, oh, Philip, great Julie job. Bain, Julie, Bain, bring my milk and cookies in the living room and I'll give you a play-by-play. -play. Oh. Mayor Rachel was putty in my hands. Okay, Philip, tell me what really happened in there. Dad, you don't even want to know. It was a joke. That's what I thought. Yeah. I am so determined to win this tournament, Jilly Bean. I'll do whatever it takes. So today's a draw, right? Yeah, today's a draw. Darn right. I'm torn. I have a special bond with my twin, Jackie. But then there's Philly. Morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning Philly. Philly. Hey, so, Mom, two things. I got an email from Tina at the Art Center last night, and she said that my class is to go. I think I got some students signed up. Oh, you're going to make a great teacher, Philly. That's great. Kids are really going to enjoy that. Yeah. Thanks. Also, I got another email. I got one from Ross and Peggy. I have an audition, so I'm going to need one of you to help me with it when I get home tonight. Wait, who, who are Ross and Peggy again? Those are my reps. Remember, Mama used to hang out with them all the time when she was out in LA with me? Oh, that's right. I haven't heard them mentioned in years. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I'm sure they moved on to much more important clients. Uncle Jack has heard us mention my reps a million times. I mean, that was just another slap towards my acting career. He knows darn well who Ross and Peggy are. I kid you not. Jack is really starting to tick me off. Oh, Jack's here. Okay, I gotta go. I'm leaving the sides right here. Please look over them if you can. You're reading for Joey. I just need one of you, either one. No memorization required. I'm reading for Tony, all right? I'll see you guys later. I gotta go. All right, bye, Sadie. Right. Bye. 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 Pisces, and how's it going, dude? Pwops, coach, congrats on the courts. Hey, that was a big win for everyone. Man, seeing my two favorite Bulldogs. Pisces, are you still running? I do. Maywright has me running all day, every day. By the time I wake up, the work texts are just rolling in. Yeah, I've basically met her twice, and that seems pretty accurate to me. Yeah, I'm still trying to hit my stride with the mayor. But you can't even get my name right. I'm pretty sure next week I'm going to be Capricorn. Man, I don't even look like my brother Cappy. <laughs> well, hey, Coach and I were talking about our senior season. We took second at state in the 4 by 100 meter relay. I just remember handing you the baton, and all I saw was smoke all the way to the finish. Flash Palmer. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Yep. But I still wish I could have got that guy from Little Bay Cove. Hey, state runner-up. 43.3 seconds, you guys killed it. Nobody's gonna ever break that record around here. I hear you out there, come on in. Hey, Mayor. Hi, Mayor. Did I hear you call Pisces Flash Palmer? Well, yeah, that was one of his nicknames back in high school. Oh yeah, he was one of the fastest guys in Bridge City history. Mm -hmm. His name is on the wall. Yeah. Really? Huh. Yeah. He may have been Flash Palmer in high school, but he's slow as molasses in the mayor's office. I heard that. Just stating facts. Okay, well, hey, we won't take too much of your time. We just wanted to make sure that we do have the courts for the tournament. You have the courts, but I thought of something I want in return. What? Yeah. All right, what? To highlight our partnership on this venture, I'd like the city to hand out the awards. So just give me a time to be there. That'd be yeah. terrific. We'd love to have you at the tournament. Mm -hmm. You can hand out the awards. Uh, things wrap up yeah. late Sunday afternoon. Sounds good. All right, great. Thanks, Mayor. All right, appreciate thank it, you, Mayor. Thank you. Right. Good job. Hey, nice. Man. Yeah. All right. All right. 
It's time for what we've all been waiting for, the tournament draw. Yeah, here we go. Yep. All right, here we go. The first team, we're going to draw girls and then boys. All right, here we go. For the girls, we have Sarah. Yay. Yeah. And Dan. Yeah, oh yeah. Dan. All right, I got him. Whoa. Great job, guys. All right, for the second team, we have Spence is killing us. Lisa. And Randy. Yeah. All right. Ooh, tough team, tough team. Lisa's backhand is one of the best around. Hope her ankle's 100%. If you keep your doctor's bag out of my way, I'd be okay. Let's kick some tail. All right. The third team is Molly. Chuck! Molly is a tremendous athlete. She has such great spirit. Molly and Chuck, what good luck! Oh! Randy! Oh. All right, we got four teams, three teams in. All right, here we go for the fourth team. Connie! Shit! Coach Woo. Woo. Oh, yeah. 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 Let's do it, Connie! I'm just really glad this tournament is happening. Connie's going to do great. My partner's Mr. Bridge City Pickleball. Let's do this. For the next team, we have... Chloe! Oh yeah, Ray! Chloe! Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ray. Yeah. Oh. Top team! Wow. All right, the suspense is building. Here we go. The next team will be... Kate! Ken! Oh. All right! Oh, All right! Oh, hey, this is the way we go! Hey, hey, look at this! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great to get a little fresh air. My lungs will be thrilled. I'm going to be thrilled when we win, as long as I don't catch what Ken has. All right, here we go for the next team in the tournament. Barb. Yeah. He won. Oh. 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 Philip is so polite and so much fun to be around. I'm so glad he's my partner. Oh, well, this is going to be a heck of a time. I can't wait to get on the courts with Barb. She's 80, but age is just a number. We're in this thing to win it. All right, next up we have Mary. Ooh. JR. Ooh. All right, tough team. All right, getting down to the final team drawings here. Here we go. Next up, Andy. Blaine. Right. Oh, yeah. Give it up for him. Give it up for him. Yep. I wonder if Ducky's going to do that. All right, here we go. All right, and here we go. Getting tight now, everybody. The next team. Melissa. <laughs> Frank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Winning. Duh. What are you talking about? Charlie Sheen. What? All right, we're down to the last two teams. Here we go. And we have... Amy. Yes. And the Jack attack. Yes. Oh. Yeah. This draw couldn't have gone better for me. I hit the jackpot. Amy is awesome, and we're gonna win this thing. It's going to be great playing with Jack. He has a killer forehand. All right. Last but not least, we have Claire and John. All right. Oh yeah. All right. Get together with your partners now. Get some practice in. I'll have the brackets all set up in a day or two. All right, go get them. Philip, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Oh, JD, please, 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 please. Have a seat. Put your headphones on. We're going on the radio here in just a second. And uh, yeah, I'm just want to ask you some questions about pickleball, about the tournament, and we'll catch up here, okay? All right, here we go. That was Quixotic Sound with Good, Good, Good on the way up the charts. Pleased to have Philip Wompson with me now live in the studio in the house. Oh, yeah. How are you doing today, Philip? You feeling okay? JD, 
I feel good, good, good. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. So it sounds like there's some exciting things happening with Bridge City Pickleball. This is big. But before we get to that, you're an actor in L.A. You were born and raised right here in Bridge City. And that, of course, could lead us in a thousand different directions. But what's something you want to share with us? Oh, boy. Uh, that's tough. You know, actually, I never predicted that I would get to work on a set with the two leads in my favorite movie. Well, tell us about it. Shawshank Redemption, Get Busy Living or Get Busy Dying. That is a heck of a quote. Yeah. And the two leads were Tim Robbins, who I worked with in a mini series called The Spoils of Babylon. And the other one was Morgan Freeman, who I worked with in a movie called Las Vegas. Okay. So I think people listening will want to know, how were they? Were they cool? Were they down to earth? You know, I had small parts in both projects, but both of these guys were extremely professional and more importantly, just very welcoming and very friendly. It, I was really fortunate to do that, and it was a blast. Well, they're legends. That's oh, great yeah. to hear. Uh, so it sounds like we've got some great things happening here in Bridge yep. City. Why don't we talk about that? So since I've been back, um, I reconnect with my high school coach, Coach Billingham, Coach B. And for anyone who didn't know, he brought pickleball to Bridge City. Mm. And I'm kind of back now and helping him run this first ever Bridge City Pickleball Tournament. It really seems like pickleball is sweeping the nation. It's on fire right yeah. now. It really is. And it's it's so great, JD, because everyone, there's not a group that can't play pickleball. Anybody can play. They can be beginner, advanced, any age can play. It really, it brings everyone together and it's taking place next weekend. It's going to be right at the Bridge City Parks. It is going to be a really good time. Now, did you play when you were in L.A.? Yeah, so I played for six years. I played mostly indoors, but now I'm playing outdoors. And the transformation's been kind of uh, kind of weird to adjust to, but I'm getting the hang of it. And how does that compare? So in both places, people are coming to really just meet friends and have a great time. And I've seen that in both L.A. and Bridge City. So you know what? That's what it's all about it right is. there. Absolutely. A, yeah. Philip, you're doing great things. It's been great catching up with you. All the best of the tournament next weekend. And to all you listeners, stay tuned. The IL 96.9 will have updates from the Bridge City Tournament. So Excellent. now let's get back to the music. Philip, nice meeting you. Hey, JD, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Sorry I'm late, guys. J.D. Bennett asked me like a thousand questions. Well, that's okay. Thanks for setting everything up. Yeah, no problem. I was just reminding Dad about all those funny audition stories. Boy, I miss those times and they went by so quickly. Yeah, but what didn't go by so quickly were all the commercial callbacks and auditions in Santa Monica. Us taking Santa Monica Boulevard all the way to the pier and all the way back. Round trip was like five hours. All because your mother was afraid to get on the 405. <laughs> That's jelly bean for you. <laughs> well, I can't help it. I mean, there's 20 lanes of traffic, cars driving crazy, and then motorcycles swirling all around. I'm just used to Northern Michigan drivers. Okay, but another classic was when she accidentally got on the Ventura Highway. She merged on and clenched the wheel and was like, oh my God, get me to the exit. I mean. We had to call dad back in Bridge City and he had to map quest us to safety. It was a joke. All right, we're done reminiscing right now. Let's get this done. Okay, okay dad, let's try this. So obviously this is just a funeral scene. So you're not happy. Just read the lines, all right? Understood. Hey, Cousin Joey, how you doing? Not too good. I really miss Anna Rosa. Okay, but I mean, why so broken up and we barely knew her? It seems hard to miss someone you only met once. Well, you saw her over there today in the coffin. I guess that makes twice. But she was amazing. She... Dad, Dad, stop, okay? They don't want literal tears from the reader. They want you to just read the lines. Bill, let me show you how it's done. Okay, Uncle Jack, <laughs> Uncle Jack, all right. Let's just, just try it out. Okay. Uh, Mom, you ready? Mm -hmm. Action. 
Hey, your cousin Joey. How you doing? Not too good. I just really miss Aunt Rosa. Damn. Can't believe she's gone so soon. Okay, but I mean, why are we so broken up about this? We barely know her. It seems hard to miss someone you only met once. Well, actually, I mean, you saw her over there today in the coffin, so I guess that makes twice. She was an amazing woman. So much fun. She was the life of the party. Uncle Jack, stop. They don't want you to improvise the lines. Just read the script. Well, Philip, they say all the best performers improvise some lines, so I tried to give the scene a little flair. Poor writing, if you ask me. I mean, I just wanted to help you improve your acting. Okay, okay. Mom, we're going back to phase one here where you're going to do the camera and you're going to read the lines. I mean, oh my gosh, this <laughs> it shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> Uncle Jack, Dad, go to the kitchen and eat a cannoli. Is a cannoli an Italian cookie? Oh boy. Oh, Dad, my your book came. Yes, it did. Any good? That's excellent. Okay, well, did I get a signed copy? Because uh, I, I ordered it. Signed. You certainly did. Okay, sweet. Well, hey, okay, let me tell you about the draw. I've so, got Amy. She's a 4.0 player. We should have no problem winning this thing. You certainly have a lot of confidence, Jack. Well, I'm playing with Barb. She's 82, and she can really hold her own. Well, this is all exciting. Let's be realistic, Phil. Barb is no Amy. You've got no shot. And why are you still dressed as Cousin Tony? As you can see, the bracket is all set, and the top four seeds have been determined based on your voting. Well, the number, you know, the number one seed, Connie and Chet, we are thrilled that you voted us in as a tournament favorite. Thank you, thank you. And the number two seed, Molly and Chuck. The three seed turned out to be Barb and Peewoms. And finally, in the four seed, Amy and Jack. Hey, hey, reminder everyone, it is double elimination. You're all guaranteed at least two games. Yeah, okay. Ray and I are really confident that we can take down Claire and John. Yeah, they're never at the courts. I don't care who we play, but Amy and I as the four seed, that really gets my goat. Well, Ken and Kate aren't the perfect team like the real Barbie and Ken. Ken and I are definitely going to advance. We're going to play Amy and Jack. I'm just Ken, but I'm more than an accessory. All righty, I've placed the court assignments on the board, so let's get this thing started. Let's have a great game, guys. We must break you. Rock you four. Now, why would someone who can't hear marry someone so soft-spoken? Mary says JR won't even get hearing aids. Wait a minute, Mary's married to JR Jones? That's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, but went over over the top. Good. 
do it. It went right over your head. That was you your ball. Swing at the ball. That was your ball. Yeah, Completely was right. your ball. Your ball. Come on. Hey, nice game, guys. Nice game. What we've got here is failure to communicate. Cool hand, Luke. Exactly. Dan couldn't dink worth a damn. Oh, I mean dang. Where's the swear jar? All right, it's time for round number two. This is yours, Amy. Yeah, Amy. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's Are go, you Ken. ready? Let's go, Ken. One, zero, two. Whoa! Whoa. Go! Two, two. Look at him. Oh, oh. Wow. Whoa, Jack! <laughs> mile on the kitchen line. Where were you shooting, Jack? Jack, you're supposed to be up here Where on the kitchen line. Shooting, Jack? I don't know. I was trying to get some. All right, here we go. Zero, two. We'll see if we can give him the golden pickle. Let's do it. All right, right two, zero, two. Here we go. Oh! oh. <laughs> Jack, you can do it. Come on, Jack. All right, Amy, you ready? Okay. That's a out, out, right, out, out. Right. That's four. Let's That's go, Ken. Four. Keep it up, Thank baby. You. Keep it up. Let's right, go. Here, go. here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, that was out. That was out. That was out. That was, was in. No way. That was good. Come on. That was out. It was on the line. That surface out by a mile. You're blind. It was on the line. No, 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 no. Hey. It's our call. It's our call. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, she got you. Oh, oh that's too bad. Eight six. No way. Eight six. Seven seven. Seven seven. Oh, that was long. Now that right, was long. One. What? No, well, no, you no, weren't. No. You're, that's your job. You're supposed to watch it. I was no, watching. No, you weren't. You're, I was you watching. You were looking over there. No, come on. I called it in. Yeah. Okay, so where are we? Now it's time. Amy, we need a little quicker handkerchief, are we? Okay. Okay. Mine? Oh, sure. Nice. Oh, Jack, let's go. Ken spends more time in the kitchen than Mel did at his own diner. Kate sliced way too much, and it cost us the match. Ken, kiss my grits. Stow it, Kate. I knew this from the beginning. We should have been the one seed. I was on fire. I sure hope Jack's play is as big as his ego. You ready? Who okay. wants some bragging rights? All right, you're on. Let's do it. All right, here we go. You ready, Ray? Here we go. Zero, zero on the two, Barb. Here we go. That's the start right there. That's, that's the start we wanted. I gotta get that over the net, boy. I gotta get it over the net. It's my fault. Here you go, Ray. All right, it's time for the last round of this day one action. We've got Connie and Chet 
That's me with Connie playing Amy and Jack. And in the other bracket, we've got Molly and Chuck against Barb and P. Womps. Connie, show them who's boss. Oh, yeah. Got him on the run. Got him on the run. All right. That's all right, Connie. That's all right. We'll get him next time. One zero two. Got it, Connie. Nice shot. Oh my gosh! Ten, two, one. Come on, Connie. Nice shot, Connie. Come on, Jack! Woo! Oh, All right, Connie! All right! Why are you doing that? Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh! All right, nice team, guys. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Congratulations. Chet may have brought pickleball here, but if he doesn't bring his A game tomorrow, we'll be toast. I try to be positive, but Connie absolutely stunk today. Her third shot dropped, couldn't get over the net if her life depended on it. So much for competent Jack. He keeps hitting lobs to a four-old player. Hello, Jack! Amy, how about you learn to dink? They call you a 4.0 player? In your dreams! Go to. I was short. All right, let's do it. Oh, oh, come on, Chuck. I'm sorry. I need the shots like so that. Sad. Gotta get it back here. Hey Chuck, you lift any weights? Oh. Three out of two. Zero, zero, two. Yeah. Right. One, oh, two. Got it. Nice shot. Good shot, Wops. We got to have this stop right here. Nice shot. Way to keep it alive. There it is. There it is. Great back row. Beautiful. Oh, John. Go easy on me. Oh. Gosh. Oh. Tough match. Yeah. Tough match. Good try. Right. Good, good match. 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 Hey, I gotta get on. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad, Bar. <laughs> yep. Philip, now is not the time to be practicing your spin. Now, because of that loss, we're going to have a hard time in the paddle back bracket. Unbelievable. Barb is great, but I knew back to back matches might wear her down. She's a great grandma. Uh, I mean, she was alive when Pearl Harbor was bombed. All right, well, that's the end of day one. Nice job. But I know it was a little rough out there for some of you. All right, tomorrow we got day two. All right, so just take it easy, rest up tonight, and go over and get some coffee from Chloe's Coffee House. Jack just stormed down to his room. What is going on? Today was a terrible day at the courts for everyone. I really don't want to talk about it.
96.9, I'm J.D. Bennett. Well, it looks like tomorrow is going to be sunny and 75 degrees here in Bridge City. Got a quick update for the first annual Bridge City Pickleball Tournament. It looks like the top seed, Chet Billingham, and Connie Timmons will face off with the second seed, Molly King and Chuck Richardson, in the finals of the main bracket. And there are six teams with one loss battling to come out of the paddleback bracket. We heard there was a lot of competitive play, but tempers also flared as the tournament heated up. Let's hope for a great conclusion tomorrow. Good luck to all teams competing. Hey everyone, come on over to the benches. All right, I got something I've got to tell you here. Uh, Philip came to me, he wants a few words with everybody. Philip? So everyone, I asked Coach B to give me just a few minutes to talk to all of you. Um, when I first got back to Bridge City and Uncle Jack brought me to the courts, I was thrilled to see what Coach had created with all of you. Wow, what the heck happened to us? Since Coach announced the tournament, it's like everyone have lost their minds, manners, and Midwesternness. I've heard numerous insults and witnessed many of us not supporting each other. And I hate to say this, but that includes me. We have a really magical environment here. I mean, Coach wanted this to be a city within a city. What he created is what I named Pick City. Why do you think we called it Pick City? Because it's short for pickleball. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But that's only half the reason. My life has changed by coming to the courts where we all choose to be our best, play hard, make friends, and have a great time. The friends I have made playing pickleball are 30, 40, 50, or like my partner Barb, nearly 60 years older than me. No one is required to come to the courts. We choose or pick to come here every day and be here with each other. That's why I named this Pick City. <laughs> Look, I know I'm pretty young, but I'm an old soul. And I know some of you may feel old, but you've shown me that you are young at heart. I have learned so much from every single one of you. We can't change how we acted this past week but we can change how we act going forward, starting right now. We had some help from the mayor's office and the city to come up with some Pick City merchandise for anyone that wants to help turn this into Coach's vision. The Pick City 
we all need. Mom, what are you doing bringing snacks? What, what are you doing bringing snacks? Well, I've got plenty of stuff just here. Just let him do his thing. Mom, Capri, son, I'm not in Little oh, League okay. anymore. Yeah, I just want to help. No, uh, okay. Just let him do his thing. Okay, All right, I got to go to the tournament now. But I'll, I'll okay, take this. Honey. Yeah, okay, got All it. Right, thank Thanks, you. Mom. Yep, bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Ken and I gave it our best. We had a blast. Kate's really great, and I didn't cough or sneeze once. This fresh air may be really doing me some good. I had a lot of fun playing with Chloe. I think we did great. I had a lot of fun playing with Ray too, but it's never fun to lose. But I do think my espresso kept us energized. You're absolutely right about that. Jack and I won a match and we had a blast. Amy was great and I'll see you on the Pro Tour. All right, everyone, time for the main bracket final. Two seed, Molly and Chuck against the one seed, Chet and Connie. Right, yep, there right. we go. Let's do it. I'm really in a pickle. I'm serving to Molly, who I really like, but nobody knows. This is a real pickle. I've had a crush on Chet for the longest time. He wears that whistle really well. I hope nobody hears this. This stays in the vault. I'm in an absolute pickle here. I just adore Connie. She's so darn cute. I'm in a huge pickle. I really like Chuck. He's got the cutest legs. No one's gonna hear this, right? Good match. Yep. This is gonna be a very interesting match. Well, yeah, the loser falls into our side of the bracket. Well, I didn't know about the tournament talk. Yeah. It's that she likes him, and he likes her, and he likes her, and she he likes him. It's as simple as that. What, well, what, Uncle Jack, who told you? Do you know about this? Everybody knows about it. Well, who told you? The town crier. <laughs> 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 All right, 10, 9, Two. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, right. Oh, nice job. Nice job. Oh, nice job. Oh, nice job. Oh, nice job. Oh, All right, guys. Nice, nice game. Nice going. Yeah. Hey, Connie and I feel bad that we knocked you out of the bracket. Yeah. How about really the four of us go cool. out for pizza tonight after yeah. the tournament? We really do feel bad about this. That sounds great. It's a date. It's a date. It's a date. It's about damn time. <laughs> Since Barb and Phil won the first match, this is for all the marbles. Someone refill my popcorn. Spasm. Oh, 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 oh man. Oh God. Coach, you okay? Wow. Oh, you all right, Coach? Good, killing coach. me. Oh. Killing me. Back injury? Randy, yeah. Yeah. I'm not, oh God. I'm not trained for that. I'm out. Sorry, Chet. Oh God. Oh shoot. All right, everybody. So due to unseen circumstances, we have to with Coach B out. We're kind of doing a weird thing here, but we have to replace him. So we're going to just draw a name right out of the men's group. Okay. Melissa's going to do the honors. Whoever's name comes out, they're going to replace Coach B. Melissa, go for it. Jack Lanther. All right. Yes! I knew I'd be in the finals. Okay, Jack, we just need one point. The score's 10-9-2. I'm serving. And whatever you do, don't hit a lob, do fill up. You can count on me. Thanks, Molly. I uh, really appreciate all you guys coming out here and supporting the first annual Bridge City Pickleball Tournament. Yeah. 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 Thanks, Coach. I, I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was two full days of action. 
Um, and special thanks to PWAMPS for regaining our priorities and our perspective. Thanks, WAMPS. Uh, oh, and special thanks to PWAMPS mom, Jill, for bringing all the goodies out today. As we mentioned this morning, we are fortunate enough to have the mayor's office and the city supporting our adventure. And we have Mayor Wright here to present the awards. Everyone, Mayor. I got this. Thank you for inviting the city to such a successful community event. We'd like to thank Coach Chet Billingham. Thank you. Thank you. Chet, join me up here. Okay. Oh, easy. Easy, Molly. Easy. We'd like to thank the sponsors for all their help Bridge City Chamber of Commerce. Bridge Township yeah. and Chloe's Coffee for sponsoring yeah. the event. Chloe, such a go-getter. As most of you know, a few weeks ago, I wasn't high on pickleball. Now I see how right, pun intended, <laughs> pickleball in this tournament was for our city. I also hope all of you are enjoying the new Pick City merchandise the city helped provide. Now let's go crazy and hand out the awards. First, the runner-up, Barb Langley and Philip Wompson. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And now the champions, Connie Timmons and Chet Billingham. And I can't believe I'm saying this, Jack Lancer. Jack, come here. Sorry, Jack. We only had You two really trophies. deserve the trophy. You had a heck of a slam on that last shot. Thank you. There we go. Yeah. Now let's get the award winner the picture with the mayor. All right. Yeah. Good luck. All right. Oh. oh, Molly, go easy. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Molly. Like Thank you. Thank you. Smile. Uncle Jack, a champion. This is a joke. I really enjoyed getting to partake in today's tournament. Mr. Jones held his own as well. I'm glad he plays better than you can hear. The only two words I ever needed to hear my Mary say were, I do. Mary! Mary! Juju's pedals. Hello, Bridge City Pickleball! Hello! I'm sorry, I lost my head. You know, it just, uh, it was always one of my favorites. It's a wonderful life, sort of. In all seriousness, I'll never forget that Mary was my first ever pickleball partner here in Bridge City. Hopefully, closed captions were added to their wedding video. Man, has this been a fun day. P. Womps and I won some big matches, and we watched some love matches, too. <laughs> Hi, sis, can we have a picture of my boys, please? Absolutely. Oh, come on, come back. Uh, yeah, 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 here yeah. you go. Come on, be good, good idea. Yeah, All right, good idea. Get, get in here. Come on, Jackie. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, nice shot. Wow. Pick yes. City on three. One, two, three. Pick, Pick City! Pick City! Yeah. All right, hey, hey, hey. Let's get the entire Pick City family in here for a picture. Come on. Come on, come on over. Yep, coach, get in here. Oh, easy, coach. We're easy. Yeah. Hey, adjust. Aim towards Pisces, everybody. Make sure you can get it in here. We're gonna get one good one. I'll get down here low. Okay, everyone. 
Pick City on three. One, two, three. Pick City! The IL 96.9, I'm J.D. Bennett. Here's an update on the inaugural Bridge City Pickleball Tournament. Sounds like it was a much better day at the courts. Spirits were high, play was excellent, and the winners were Connie Timmons and Chet Billingham with an assist from Jack Lancer. Hey, everyone. Esther from the Senior Center has just texted me. She's made us her famous cherry pie. So let's all head over there and party like it's 1999. Yeah. Yeah. 69. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Get out of here. That was great. Coach, thanks for everything you've done. You imagined it, and now we get to see Pick City become a reality. It feels so good to be home. Welcome home, p -Womp. Welcome home. Drive those feet, move the feet. Good, nice. Yep. I like it. Nice job. Hey guys, welcome to Pick City. How can we help you? I'm Luke. I'm Buddy. We are the Serbian, Serbian pickleball pick champions. champions. We travel the world in search of the best, best of the best. best. Uh, I don't think that's us. No, no. We heard you guys created Pick City. You had a very successful tournament. Are you guys up for the match? I think we can handle it. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Good luck. Let's get them wide. All right. 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 Let's get them wide. 96.9 The Isle with J.D. Bennett and some breaking news. Rumor has it that the men's Serbian pickleball champions Traveled to Bridge City seeking out a challenge match with our own Chet Billingham and Philip Wompson, who I talked to in our studio just last week. No report as of yet on how the match progressed. More to come from Pick City. No bark, Oscar, no bark.